What is going on guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993 back here for some more baseball news as we are catching up here as yesterday the Pirates who are going to continue to sign some veterans that most of them I approve of. Did another move that I'm even though I didn't realize how old he was I'm like okay okay I've been saying of course they, they signed Vince Velasquez. But like I was saying, they need like some type of like a a true like leader to their pitching staff. Someone who is experienced, but someone you feel like that that could be pitchers could look at him and look at as a mentor. Of some sorts. Like another someone kind of along the lines of what AJ Burnett was when he finished his career with the Pirates. And I think they got that. As they signed 42-year-old, will be 43 in March, long-time left-handed starting pitcher, Rich Hill, signed him to a one-year deal, $8 million, pending a physical. I think this is a really good signing. I am very intrigued to see what this could do. Rich Hill has a very unique story of his career. He had his early success in the beginning of his career with the Cubs. Back in his breakout year in 2007, uh, he tossed 195 innings and 32 starts with a 392 ERA. After that, though, for a while, he had suffered some injuries. He did not reach 60 MLB innings pitched in any season from 2008 to 2015, often struggling with his health and command while bouncing around with the Orioles, the Red Sox, Indians, and Angels and Yankees. But then, of course, he ended up pitching for the Long Island Ducks briefly in 2015. And then he eventually earned a minor league deal with the Red Sox. He got promoted late in the season and made four starts with an ERA in those four starts of 155, which is enough for the Athletics to then take a gamble gamble on him when he turned 36, time to a $6 million contract. And again, he just literally has taken off. He's he's literally, well, okay, I wouldn't say he's as strong as him, but he's basically another R.A. Dickey, doing the best of his, st of his work at the end of his major league career. And then in 2016, he got over 20 starts, and he posted a 2.12 ERA. And he has at least made at least 20 starts from 2016 to the present with at least 110 innings in five of the of, or, of the six full seasons, with 2009 being the only exception when he when he suffered a forearm strain, pitched just 13 starts and 58 two thousand innings, but he still had an ERA in that time frame of 339. And again, was spending, you know, he was bouncing around between a lot of teams, the athletics. The Dodgers, Twins, Rays, Mets, and back to the Red Sox. But he was still a reliable left-handed arm. Again, not quite successful as they hoped to. But again, he has definitely had a strong, strong ERA. This is past season, 8-7 and seven, with a 427 ERA. Good, you know, uh, strikeout rate and a good walk rate, ground ball rate. Again, he still can be an effective, like, Maybe like second or third starter in your rotation. Again, he did still garnered a lot of interest this offseason, but the Pirates can secure him. Also adding again Vince Velasquez, who will work with pitchers like Mitch Keller, bleh, JT Brubaker, nah, not even interested at all, um, and Ronnie Contreras. There was, of course, Bryce Wilson, who the Pirates did designate for assignment. And, of course, they have some help in the in the bullpen with um, Johan Oviedo, Luis Ortiz, and a few others as well. But, yeah, I mean, on, on top of him, the Pirates have also grabbed um, G-Man Choi, Carlos Santana, Austin Hedges, Vince Velasquez, and Jarlin Garcia as well. Um, which, again, are all going to be, you know, some good additions to get some veterans in that staff um, for the Pirates. Um yeah, so I think this is a good signing. I mean, yes, I know Hill's about to be 23 years old. He obviously, though, still has something left in the tank, though. 
like, I don't think he's going to be, like, an ace. But I think he will be, like, maybe, like, a number three starter or something like that. But, again, he will have the leadership. And I feel like he will, if that one piece, that helps provide good chemistry to a ball club. So, I'm interested in this one. Again, another, like, veteran deal with the Pirates that I am intrigued by. Because, again, also, it is going to definitely help with some of the younger talent as well. So I like this signing uh, by by Pirates getting um, Rich Hill on a one-year contract. What are your guys' thoughts on Rich Hill joining the Pirates? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video, subscribe for more content on my channel, and follow me on Twitter as well, at the Club of the Man 93 Be sure, as always, also, to shout for Meatball Sub and follow me on TikTok at the Club of the Man 1993 and until then, guys, I'm checking out. I'll catch you guys all later. Stay tuned, as always, for some more baseball news. Have a great rest of your night, guys. Peace out, buddy. Yeah, no, I will There's no escape.